is ingeskakel op je groot ontbijt, groot FM 90.5. En as jy nou is ingeskakel het, dan is jy op die rechte tyd, want kyk, ons het een propvol groot ontbijt vir jou, maar by ons in die atelier, het eindelijk geen bekendstelling nodig nie, het al verskye toekennings gewen, of is dan ook genomineer vir verskye toekennings, en uh, hulle noem hulle self nou nie, hulle is wel een band van drie, maar hulle noem hulle self nou nie The Three Musketeers nie, maar by ons dan in die atelier is niemand anders as... Um, Gangs of Gangs of Berlijn. <laughs> Okay, we go. Good morning, guys. How are you? Hey, good morning. Hey, man. Man. Hey, good. Hey. Thanks for having us. It's awesome having you guys here. So, just for for um, camera purposes, let's yeah. just quickly introduce ourselves so that we All know right. exactly, and then also for the listeners who can't see at this stage. Yeah, yeah. But let's start on this side. A bit of background, Brad. Uh, yeah, I'm Brad. Uh, I'm all, all the way from Durban. You know, so yes. we're still surfer Durban boys and it's good to be in Pretoria we love this place this is like a second home for us eh? that's good Yeah, we, we love, like it we love Pretoria yeah it's awesome yeah thanks for having us and then over to you uh, I'm Jono uh, I do the synth and the bass for gangs at the moment yeah also a <laughs> Durban boy uh, we're all from Durban and uh, yeah loving it yeah and then over to you yeah my name is Josh and I play the drums do a bit of backing vocals and Brad and I are brothers and oh, yeah, yeah. And there you, you've mentioned it because someone in my ear just told me, just remember that they are brothers. I can see that uh. in the survey. <laughs> so that's always good. No, if, if we can maybe take you back to the uh, origin of, of the band, how did it all originate? How did you guys decide, you know what, we're going to uh, start a band and we're going to just tour the whole world through and, and make music? Um, yeah, well, funny enough, this band actually was a side project at first. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were kind of all at Varsity together and Brad... Brad wanted to play bass. He's always played guitar, but he wanted to play bass in a band. So we started the side project so that Brad could play bass. And um, <laughs> yeah. so, and then we, um, yeah, we kind of we've, we we were all in other bands at the time. Okay. And uh, we just decided, well, let's track some of the stuff that we that we had been writing. And uh, we did. We probably rehearsed for about a year and a half, tracked the the stuff, and then it started getting. Someone submitted it to radio on our behalf. Um, got picked up, started charting, and. Six years later, here we are, full-time rock band. Stay I can remember strong. the industry buzzing about Gangs of Ballet when you started, but how did you get to the name of Gangs of Ballet? Uh, it's, it's actually a, it's a strange story, to be honest. Uh, we, were, we were in Johannesburg, actually, at the time. I was hanging out with a friend, and uh, she was telling us she was a, she's a professional ballerina, or at that time, anyway. And uh, she was kind of telling us just how cutthroat and hectic the industry was. And she started just like telling us all the stories, how mean the girls are. But she made it sound like they arrived with like, you know, gets and knives and <laughs> and it's just yeah, she just was just going overboard. And uh, so basically, Josh and I started playing with her and mocking her a bit and said, "Oh, watch out for the gangs of ballet." You know, like you guys are heavy. So, so it's got nothing to do with the fact that you're gonna show us some plies later on in the show. No, 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 no. nothing. And well, that's what what is, your what benefits, is that? actually. Jono Mart. What is that even? <laughs> Jono Mart, so you're the ballet yeah. dancer yeah. in the group. So do I'll you, take it. Have, yep. have, have you brought your tutu along? That's the most important. Yeah. Is it? Yes. <laughs> yes. John is going to do a birthday dance. It's actually John's birthday. John's birthday today. today. Oh, really? Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. birthday. Yeah. Oh, thank so you. maybe we should change the song to happy birthday to you later yes. on. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> well, or you can just sing to him. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to describe your sound, sound to someone that doesn't know a Gangs of Ballet, how would you describe your sound? Let's ask the birthday Jeez, boy. That's a, that's birthday a, boy. Interesting. It's always hard, I think, when you, you try to find your own sound. Mm. It's, it's always easier for someone else to tell you what of you course. are. But um, I think we like to think that we are a rock band, but I think we know that we're not quite quite in that space anymore, just, just because our, our sounds are changing and mm. um, we're kind of evolving with the times and trying out new things. And so it's getting more into the, I think our sounds are more electronic, um, but at the core, we're still a still a rock pop okay. kind o- of outfit. Operating as a team, is it difficult? What would you say is the biggest challenge, operating as a team? I think mm. making sure everyone's on the same page. Is it? Just yeah. ma- making sure that, that everyone knows everything at the, at, all, all the time. Having like good channels of communication is a... Do is you a, have like bit. set roles? Like this is your role you need to do, apart from uh, the, the music side or the music point of view. Yeah. Do you each know this is what I'm supposed to do, this is what I'm supposed to do, and is that actually the success to it? I think we all kind of got a... Um, unconsciously, we all just do what we're really good at kind of in the band. We play a little roles, you know. I, oh. I think it's almost unspoken. Um, but to be honest, you've actually in 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 a band, you've it's kind of all hands on, you know. So yeah. if something has to get done, it has to get done, you know. So whoever's closest to it, pick it up yeah. and do it. Um, 
uh, and we, we've kind of set roles, but it's not really like this format. Okay. It's, it's like, I mean, it's like starting a new a business, essentially, you know, it's like, you know, you've got to hustle. You've you got need to, to know what's going on. You know, what's going yeah. on. You, everyone's got to know what's happening in the band and on all fronts, you know, so, yes. um, yeah. You can just stay where you are. We're going to chat a bit later now. So by us in the atelier is Danny Manne van Gangs of Ballet. Once again, welcome. It's awesome having you guys here. But now we're going to uh, uh, chat a bit about your music. No, a, a, a bit of uh, info. Where's the tongue this morning? Um, <laughs> October 2015, you launched uh, Form and Function, part one, which is an EP, and then 40 songs, which you've written for that. You've only used six songs. I don't know why you didn't just bring out like a double album or something. And then a year later, now it's time for part two. So just just quickly, how do you decide? So in total for that, you also you've written 20 songs. In total, you sit with a bank of 60 songs, yeah. which you've o only used what? 12 yeah. songs for in, in yeah, total for part 12. one and two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's interesting. So how do you decide, okay, we, we have 60 songs. What songs am I going to use and what's going to be banked for later? Uh, you know, it's a bit of a funny one. You, you kind of got to pick. I think each, each EP has had its little... Uh, story and its own laugh, its own sound, uh -huh. um, and we, we, I think we kind of just pick the ones that live together the best. If that makes sense. Yes. So, so you don't have a schizophrenic kind of <laughs> EP like one's this rock song, and the next is like pop. And is so. there like a specific theme that you guys wanted to bring forward during the the part one and the part two? Are they interlinked, or or how does it work? Our whole thing has actually been we we broke it up. Uh, we, our bass player left us. Probably about a year ago now. Yes. So we kind of had to find each other again, which was exactly. which was kind of what we did, you know. And um, the first one was kind of finding our feet, and the second one was kind of okay. I think we kind of we're there, you know. Mm. And uh, we we knew that just in a short space of time, if you actually play them back to back, they're very different. And we we knew that was going to happen. We, really we actually cool. that's the part we're actually celebrating, you know, like just seeing it's almost like a little historical document for us. You know, yeah. kind of see where you were and the tone and the sounds and the, the lyrics that we used and exactly. now where we are a year later and what we're doing and sounding like. So, and the th we're actually doing three parts. Wow. So that sure. we can we can be awaiting can, the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that one's going to sound totally different as well. And we love progress. We love, I mean, every person just in a, in a year, you think how you change in a year. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah. So, so are you already busy writing for the for the new part as well? No, we've already got 40 songs that are yeah. going on. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to say, like, I think no, you, can, you can now yeah, just yeah, source yeah. from what you have. When it comes to writing songs, do you have, like, specific themes you write according to or specific things that, that motivates and inspires you? How do you go about as a group um, to write songs? Um, <laughs> is it a group <laughs> effort? Or is, is, it, is it like your? It is sure. a very group is effort. I, th I yeah. think the kind of original, like the base ideas, um, Brad and I will usually come up with with those like okay he'll have a verse or i'll have a chorus and then we kind of combine them or we we sit and then we bring them into the practice room um and then we just start building on it like we wow. Jono, i mean Jono is half of our sound because he's playing synth bass and the synth sure. at the moment so mm. without a Jono, we won't have a song so um <laughs> so yeah we, we we sit in the practice room and we just we just mess with the songs like we rewrite them some songs we rewrite like 16 times sometimes they just fall into place you know okay yeah. so so we'll re we'll rename you we'll we'll call you Jono bravo there we go. not johnny <laughs> bravo okay <laughs> wish i had the hair <laughs> yeah, yeah. um he, he said that you are the half of the sound um and afrikaans said a klein bottle said groot gif now it looks like you're the smallest <laughs> of the group are you being are you being picked on the whole time i'm not, I'm not offended <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's it's chilled. I think I think everyone everyone gives and takes a bit, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's alright. So and, uh, we we actually get along well. Let's maybe have a look at the at the title of the EP. Yep. Uh, why did you decide on that specifically? Because I mean, now you need to pull it through for for three parts: part one, part two, part mm. three, and part one, two, three can only be that creative. <laughs> so you need to be creative <laughs> when it comes to the, the album name. Actually, yeah, yeah, we actually um you know in preparation for the first part, um. I stumbled across, um, I, so we studied in arts in high school, but the Bauhaus movement, mm. sure. which basically wow. everything that we understand is the modern day design now actually comes out of the Bauhaus movement. Mm. And uh, they, one of their principles was form before function, which they would kind of break things down and they would find the form and they'd find the function and they'd kind of rebuild things up from there, you know. Okay. And that was kind of where we were, the band, you know, the base, our bass player left and we had to 
break it down to um, he was not John was not playing bass you know so uh, we had to kind of work that out again and just aesthetically it also worked really really cool you know like all the album covers uh, John is actually a qualified designer as well so he's done all the artwork and that all helps. that kind of stuff and so we've got we've we've reinterpreted the Bauhaus movement for ourselves you know and we've kind of made it our own in, in art and in videos um, I like this video for our first single um, something is it's a trippy kind of video it's quite a quirky kind of out there video but if you actually go and look at the Bauhaus like video stuff go into YouTube and type in Bauhaus you know movies and yeah. stuff it is the it's weirdest, weird. weirdest stuff you've ever seen in your life, you know. So it's we kind of reinterpreting for ourselves. Yeah, and make it make it more universal for now. Yeah. So form and function part one, part two, part three. Part, part three, three on its way. So we're looking yep. forward to that. If we can maybe see, um, in terms of future projects, what can we uh, look forward to for you guys, and how can people uh, be on top of it to know exactly what's going on? Yeah. So future projects, as we said, part three is going to be coming out. I think we'll start working that on that next year. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, we are actually doing an album launch tour at the moment now for part two. Yes. Amazing. So we're going to be around the country playing a bunch of shows, and we'd love to come out and meet everyone. We're actually playing in Pretoria tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're playing in Arcade Empire, so that's going to be a jewel. But uh, you can catch us on. We're at Gangs of Ballet on everything. So Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever. And you can reach us there, and we handle a lot of that stuff as well. So we'll you'll be chatting to us directly. Well, awesome. it's awesome chatting to you guys, and yeah, all the thanks, best man. with part two. All uh, all the best with writing the next um, sixty songs. <laughs> <laughs> May you guys do good, and and it's really awesome chatting to you guys. Thanks, for having thanks, us. Thanks. Appreciate it. So, daar het jy dit. Hulle gaan later ook vir ons sing. Dis die manne dan van Gangs of Balance. So, bieke met hulle gesels oor hulle nieuwe album. So, jy kan ingeskakel bly om later dan te hoor hoe hulle rechtstreeks van die groot ontbuid dan ook vir ons die program gaan afsluit.